Hi everyone, so I wanted to share with you um, a little bat unit that we were doing. Um, I've shown you the file folder before um, for the deserts that we studied and um, we're doing animals, the animals from the desert. So for the bats, um, uh, Mikey wanted to learn a lot more than, um, <laughs> than we usually do, so we're doing a little bit more on the bats. He's enjoying uh, the unit study and we actually finished it off today. So I wanted to show you what we did. So for um, the printables here, um, I will link it below. Um, I'll link the printables and the websites that I used and things like that so you guys can um, use them after I upload the video. Um, and if I forget, please just remind me. Um, so anyways, um, what he did was um, we taught uh, this brought the principle that said uh, pretty much that a bat is a mammal. And um, he, I just had him write what a mammal was. So he wrote that there. Um, and then we took the anatomy of a bat and he just pretty much marked down all the parts to a bat. Um, there's parts that weren't on here um, that he wanted to add. Um, so he just added it in and things like that. Um, other than that, um, where bats lived, we talked about where they live um, and he colored all the continents that the bats can be found. And then he wrote um, what their homes are called, which is a roost. Um, and then down here is the only continent where there's no bats living because, of course, it's too cold for them. Um, and then if I lift the flap, let me fix it for a second, and turn it the other way. Well, we have the rest of the stuff he, um, he studied for bats. So we did a bat classification. And um, some of these things are like way above his head, but I just pretty much had him do it. Um, so we talked about the kingdom, which is he's in the animal kingdom. Bats are in there. So he had, uh, wrote animalia, the phylum, and the class of it being a mammal. So we wrote it there, and then the order. So these two are way above him, but it's okay for him to learn. Um, and then we learned about how long can bats live. So he wrote um, 39 years was the oldest bat that we learned about. And if a bat is 30 years, it equals 100 years in human. So he wrote that down. And then bats enemies. So he did the flat for that and just wrote everything that can eat a bat. Um, what bats eat, same thing. He just wrote everything that a bat can eat. The bat senses. So um, he learned about echolocation and he wrote the definition for that. And then he wrote um, the senses for the um, bats, which is pretty much just exactly like um, people. So as you can see, he spelled some stuff wrong here and there, but it's okay. Um, and that is it as far as the, um, the file folder. Um, and the books that we used for this were uh, Magic School Bus Fact Finder on Bats. Really, really good book. It has a lot of the facts in there. Um, I was actually reading this to him, and um, that's pretty much how he learned a lot of the stuff. So we read. It's got diagrams. It's got the anatomy. I mean, everything is in here. I really, really recommend this book. Um, and after that... We have The Time for Kids, also a really great book. It's got colorful pictures. Um, he loved this book, and this one he actually read himself, so I was just pretty much going over every page. Um, he used a lot of these pages to fill in his work, uh, lap book pieces. And towards the end of the book, it actually has like um, the definitions of things um, from the book for him to learn so we went over those and the top five foods that they eat and actually shows the, you know of course the pictures and things like that um, and then there's also a we both read about bats really good book as well um, the parent reads the one page and the child reads the other side so I will show you that um, inside of this one as you can see I would read this and he would read this and it's very simple but it um, like I, it's pictures so um, it shows him like you know really good pictures and really loved it we really 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 loved this unit study um, and then there is the book on bats zapping and zooming and I will show you that one and this again explains the bats and you know everything that's going around with the bats and actual facts and things like that and it has um, pictures to it so 
shows you their flight again the anatomy so it's a really really good book I would recommend um, all these books um, to do the unit study and then this uh, last page he's waiting on his dad he wants to build a bat house um, plan and then put it on top of our house see if there's any bats in this area um, I don't know that <laughs> I didn't really look that up but um, he's trying to help them you know not go extinct so um, he'll be doing that one with his dad and other than that, um, we used uh, the Magic School Bus, um, and the season for that is season two, and it's episode nine, so I had him watch that, and he really enjoyed it. He watched it for two days. Um, and then there's uh, different websites. We went and actually saw uh, bats on a live cam, so I will put that down below as well. And the website where I got all the information to fill in um, this as well that actually have facts and it, it's actually from people that um, take care of bats. So anyways, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we did for our bats unit study. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and thank you for watching.